Welcome to the pew. Welcome to the pew. And uh, this is a, uh, a, a, a special the secret episode. ambush. The secret episode. ambush of Olivia. <laughs> we had Olympia uh, uh, up last week for her episode of the pew, and she was very prim and proper. Yes, very self-censored, and wouldn't really let the tongue wag. Almost, uh, you know, you know, trying to sort of re rewrite history. But when she thought the cameras were off, and the cameras were still rolling. Watch out. <laughs> and here's what she transpired. <laughs> now, this, another interesting thing about Olivia is that um, as Disco 2000 went on in the grew year. in popularity, grew in popularity and, and legend and legend um, and Olympia is not the only one who's guilty of this but um, Olympia put so much time and effort and Taddy into their outfits very much like Freeze mm -hmm. when Freeze moved in with them forget it it was like mm. you know they would you'd be ready at what time like 4 o'clock in the morning yeah well yeah you, <laughs> no seriously would, time would sort of stop yeah and it had nothing to do with any other reason no it was all because of all, the makeup all because of makeup makeup and no but it was very intricate jewelry. makeup but literally sometimes they you would show up at 3 30 or 3 45 i i need it and then you know at four o'clock in the morning say where's my paycheck and but what time would you start getting ready uh anywhere between uh between 10 and 11. Can I ask you a really stupid question? No, in between 9 <laughs> and 11 we start. Between 9 and 11, okay. And then, so it's Why like, didn't you start getting ready earlier? <laughs> why? Yeah. <laughs> well, like, at first I did. Like <laughs> When I start, when you first hired me and I was uh, working at Lime, at the Pyramid, well, I used to arrive at the Pyramid to get dressed, and I'd, I'd arrive like at so 7 o'clock. So you didn't show up late at the Pyramid. Well, when I bartended, I had to show up thousand. early. Mm -hmm. when, you, when I bartended, I had yeah. to be there for like, what, 9 o'clock, 9.30? Mm -hmm. It was ridiculous. Mm -hmm. For the first uh, hour and a half, I just stood there and did nothing. Kind of like when you were hosting. <laughs> and I was dressed like some... Uh, you got it going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, well, tell us the story. <laughs> <laughs> all, you can't save all the good stories for, for the camera. All camera's right, so uh, I was dressed like some, I don't know, uh, old, older, the older madam. That's how I sort of look like an older madam. I carried the, the, the end of my ball in plain view like a purse. And so when I uh, go to the bar to get a, a cocktail, I have to pour it. It's <laughs> funny when I bring up enema bottles. Olympia acts like she has no idea what I'm talking about. Now everything is, now she's bringing enema bottles with her everywhere she goes. Oh, no, shit. that didn't last long though. Still, Remember when I hired you to um, be the old people in the? We, yes, that was had, so much fun. We had a. Um, I designed a, a nursing home at Tunnel. The Tunnel. For aging club kid, whatever, and um, I wanted to hire real old people, but I didn't have my act together enough, so we had to hire people to dress as old people. So Olympia and Taddy dressed as the elderly. They and and you looked good. You put a lot of time and effort into that. Yeah, we looked old. Well, all, of your, all of your looks <laughs> had a lot of time um, and effort. Although I have a bone to pick with you, because I I do because the windows at, at, at tunnel we had these diorama kind of windows like museum windows with perform uh, scenes like uh, a housewife cooking bacon or you know whatever yeah, yeah. and um, Olympia was always asking for jobs in the windows and I was always giving them and the one thing I asked and Carla did this too the one thing I asked is please just don't break character you know if you're going to be a housewife cooking bacon be a housewife cooking bacon and I never broke it oh Olympia she would hold cup Put coat. Remember, you were, I mean, you would always get in trouble for putting pe people would bring you their coats and to put in the window. And now a word from our sponsor. What's in, what's out, what it's all about. I know what the kids all like. What's good, what's bad. Welcome back to the pew. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know. I I always used to get the, these Guido guys. Coming up to me, Ooh, we know guys, eh? at the end of the night, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. asking, Drunk. of course, asking me. I'm one of the drag queens. Mm -hmm. Like, are you a man? Or no, a no. Man? They, they would ask me for condoms <laughs> if I had any rub because they, you and, know, and they have sure a girl on their arm. So yeah, I started I'm carrying sure them. Did. Olympia would go out with 
five suitcases. <laughs> no, really. I would, I would have really bag carriers. Yeah. I had bag. The other one that I think I always carry, you know, always I thought it was like a moment of glory because, uh, of course, you know, being in drag, I always use the ladies' room. And there was some girl always who, you know, would say, does anybody have a tampon? I'd be the first one with my hand up. I do. Oh, I do. I everything. <laughs> I mean, you could ask her for anything, and she would have it in one of her five bags. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember the, your wall of bins, plastic bins? Yeah, but they had clothing in it. Yeah, of they course. Everything. I'm, and when she means, says everything, she means everything. I mean, like... You know everything from bustiers and uh, you know, angel halos and you know I mean just like every Groucho glasses. I mean like a whole bin full of Groucho glasses. I mean like every possible costume yeah, accessory. Yeah. And then they would go on organizing binges where they would be very energetic and uh, want to be organizing things. And I <laughs> think we're gonna go organize something right now. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> See so that was later. a lot of fun. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm.